So when I finished up last night with the new amp and everything, my thought was either the, that I royally screwed up or the amp is broken. So before I go dismounting the amp and going through the exchange process and all that crap, I'm going to make sure everything is what I think it is. Um, the symptoms I'm getting with the amp not working could be something I may have done stupidly. Um, and I'm about to take this apart and see. Let me pull it apart and we'll see if I'm right or wrong. If I'm right about my theory, that means I can fix this real quickly and that amp is just fine. If not, then I have to go through the exchange process. So I'm no Steve Mead, but uh, I do know a few things. And this is what I was afraid of, is that I did something following what's in the wiring for the dash, and the factory wiring never follows any convention you expect it to. And this is the symptoms I was getting out of the amp. This is exactly what I expected to see here. If you can see that here on camera, you notice that my power wire is a striped wire. Now every other bit of wiring I've done, I've used the negative wires, the striped wire. And that's what's here, so all i got to do is switch these things. And it should be in operation, it should be just fine. So, we'll get to that and we'll see. So the other thing I'm going to do while I'm turning it apart, because it bothers me, is these boom mats that I like to use. And the little speaker baffles that kind of make a kind of a small enclosure for them. Trimmed it down, stapled it to the inside rim. I'm going to do away with this speaker ring that I had in there before. Because it does fit. It's right up against it, but it fits. I don't like how proud they sit. I want it recessed back in there like I had it before. So I'm going to do that too while I'm at it. Well, that was pretty disappointing. Changed polarity. Got them all mounted the way I want to mount them. But it's still not working. So before I totally call it quits and yank that amp out. <sighs> toying with the idea of actually taking it down to a sound shop and having put diagnostic equipment on it. Speakers seem fine. I'm getting some sound out of them now, but not anywhere near what I should be. So I don't know. Toying with that idea. Here we are Christmas Eve on Christmas Eve in Salt Lake City and uh, it's raining. This global warming crap's got to stop. Somebody tell Al Gore to cut it out. I want my snow. Yeah, we got plenty of snow, but rain. But here's here's the problem: is the slope of this street gets wet, then the snow comes and it freezes everything there, and that's a freaking ice rink out there to the point where they can't get my truck in. But yeah, um, we'll see what else I figure out. I'll update you as I go. See if I can figure out why my sound system isn't working like it should. The only thing that's changed is that amp. So we'll see. Till the next one. Thanks for watching.